I'm Nick Moore and this is the new Kramer VP427 UHD. Many of today's meeting rooms have a requirement to send signals over both long distance and to have a local input. Now the VP427 UHD allows signals to be sent over HD base T into one of the inputs and an HDMI device to be connected to a local input and the unit can automatically switch between those two signals to give the image on the display. We're going to demonstrate this auto switching capability in a minute but first let's have a look at the front of the unit. You can see a manual switch between HD base T and HDMI and a number of LED indicators. These tell whether HDMI and or HD base T is detected on the input side, whether the screen is connected and whether an HD base T link is established to the source device. It can also show whether the VP427 UHD is receiving power. Next there is a menu button and the navigation buttons for moving around within the menu and accessing different functions. Finally, note that the plus and minus buttons, when pressed together, can reset the scaler to 1080p. Now let's have a look at the back of the unit. We've got the HD base T input and local HDMI input. Next is the HDMI output. We have two audio outputs a balanced stereo analog audio out and an SPDIF out. There's a 3.5mm jack for bidirectional IR, the Ethernet port and terminal blocks for RS-232. Finally, there's a 12 volt DC input for situations where power is not available over HD base T. So the setup for this demonstration is as follows. So we have two sources, which are the laptop here and an 861, which you notice I haven't got connected at the moment. The laptop is feeding into a TP780T and we're going out over a long distance of BC Unicat cable into the VP427 UHD, which is also taking its power down the cat line. We've got the uh, input for the 861 and the output going to the display. Now, as soon as I plug my 861 test pattern generator into the VP427 UHD, the screen will switch. So therefore, if I disconnect the 861 from the system, it should switch back to my laptop over the HD base T. Now with the 861 test pattern generator plugged in, I can disconnect my laptop. The VP427 UHD will automatically switch to the test pattern generator. And when I plug my laptop back in, it'll switch back over the HD base T line to the image from my laptop. You can see the LED indicator here is green because uh, HDMI is connected. And as soon as I connect the HD base T, then it turns blue as HD base T is detected. One example of where the VP427 UHD plays a critical role is in the Kramer KR4000 meeting room. You can find out more information about the KR4000 and the other Kramer meeting rooms on our website. For more information on the VP427 UHD and our range of HD base T extenders and scalers, please visit our website. Thank you for watching.